Hey guys, what's up? It's Dina and I'm back with a new video. Today I'm going to be sharing some more graphic design resources and tools that help me elevate my design skills, make me a better designer, and make my life so much easier overall. So without any further ado, I want to share some of these tools and resources with you guys. So first off, I want to say that this video is brought to you by PDF Element. PDF Element is an all-in-one smart PDF editor which offers the easiest way to create, edit, convert, annotate, sign PDF documents in every device. It's the best Acrobat alternative to maximize your document productivity. You can do a bunch of stuff, like for example, you can edit the text in your PDF document and it just makes it a lot easier just to edit it within the PDF. I'm going to change this to let's do apple let's pretend your company name is apple so this is just like a template i'm showing you guys how easy it is just to replace the text um inside your template and this is so useful especially if you're sending it as a freelancer to clients you can also add and edit the images within the document so here let's say i want to change this replace this image so let's see let's say i want to replace it bam image is already replaced it has so much more flexibility than you know adobe acrobat or preview so i highly recommend you guys check out pdf element um, i'll have the links in my description it's a really flexible tool especially if you're freelancing doing contract work and you have templates so segue into the next design tool that you guys can use this one is free, it's called thenounproject.com and it's basically a site that has every icon possible. So the icon that I showed you that I dropped in to the PDF element document I found on this website. Let's say I want a design icon and let's say I like this one and I'm gonna get it, download it as a PNG. And then like in the proposal template that I was showing you on the PDF element, I can just replace this icon with the one I found on the noun project and there you go so you see how simple it is just to drag and drop and use the icons so so useful it's such a time saver um, especially if you're an icon designer and you don't want to start completely from scratch you've got a bunch of templates so I'm sure you know a bunch of uh, websites that have stock photos such as unsplash or pexels but I don't really see anyone talk about stock websites for videos that are free so one website that uh, I recently discovered is lifeofvids.com. These are really high quality videos and clips that you can download for free. And as you can see here, really, really cool. I really like the uh, UI experience of this, but you can see they're all from Vimeo. It's pretty high quality um, stock footage that you can use for your videos or uh, for content creation my ideas and they're all pretty much free and they have like four pictures as well called um, life of pics with an x which is high res photography pretty much um so both of these websites really really cool um if you're looking for like lifestyle photography and lifestyle videos to use in your own content or for clients all right this next website is just so so useful it's called drawkit.io and as you can see here it has a whole catalog of free illustration and it's updated weekly and i'm sure you've seen this illustration style on a bunch of big websites like Facebook or Amazon. Basically, it's all free, which is so incredible that they're doing that. And you can even go ahead and download it and modify it even a little bit. And if you suck at drawing people like me, this is so useful if you just wanna like tweak a little bit to make it your own. So let's say I don't want a yellow jacket on her and just change the color um, to, I don't know, let's say like a light, light blue or a darker blue and then there you go and it has pretty much most of the the stuff there and you can just tweak it to your own liking and just use it for whatever you want so this next tool is the data color spider x elite which is basically uh the fastest most accurate easiest to use monitor calibration so this is especially useful if you have your printing magazines brochures anything that has a lot of color or pictures photography involved this monitor calibration tool is really useful to get the, the most color accuracy between your printer and your monitor so this is what it looks like when you get it out of the box 
So it depends on which model you get, but once you follow the link on where to download the software, uh, you're gonna go download the software for whether you have a Windows or Mac, and then you're gonna plug it in. Let's say, you know, regular USB port. So once you download it, you're gonna follow the instructions. So you see there's two options. You can do the printer soft proofing um, or calibrate the display. So since I'm not printing anything right now, I'm just gonna calibrate my display. So now, what you do is you're gonna hang it over your monitor. So when you open it, see that? It's cool, right? I'm gonna hang it over my display. So as you can see now, it's analyzing and monitoring the color and doing some testing and measuring to get the most color accuracy. So now it's finished, it's telling me to remove it and hit finish. I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna hit calibrate once a month. It's showing me how the before and after it calibrated. So this is uncalibrated, this is calibrated. It's a very subtle color change, but you can see how it's showing me how the colors are a lot more accurate and this is how it's going to print and has like a, a more magenta tint to it whereas the previous is a little more green so it's really really cool to see the before and after and that's pretty much it like that's how easy it is to calibrate your monitors and screens i've had this issue so much where my colors on the screen look really good, but when I printed it, it just looked complete different. So with calibrating your monitor, you're gonna get the most color accuracy so that you don't have that issue of, oh, it looks so different on screen and then compared to when I print it out. Because on the screen, when you calibrate your monitor, you know what, what it's gonna print out and look like. And so that's what this, this tool does. It, it gets the most accurate color on the screen so that when you do print it, it'll look just as it does on the screen. And it's a really powerful tool, so I highly recommend it. Now y'all, I saved the best for last because this is the best and it's free. So if you can see here, when I open a new tab, I get what seems to not be Google. This is like one big Chrome extension for designers that you can just get your daily dose of inspiration from all these different websites that you probably go on all in one place which is really really cool this is the best design inspiration curated as like a google search engine it's awesome so that's all you gotta do is just go on muzz.li and then you just get it for chrome, as a chrome extension and there you go now you don't have to worry about going on 10 different websites for creative inspiration let's say i'm like oh i'm bored I want to search for uh, book covers. Bam. Pulls it all from all these different websites. And this is great. It's so wonderful. Like, uh, a designer's dream come true. Honestly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions that you might have, I'll be happy to answer them. I hope you found some of these resources and tools useful and use it for your creative careers and ventures. Um, I'm so excited now that it's summer and I'm done with school for this semester. Uh, I'm really excited to be pumping out a lot more content, um, especially I have a lot of video ideas that I wanna do and content um, that I'm producing. So I'll be busy this summer and I'll be pumping out a lot of stuff for you guys. So I'm really excited. If you have any videos that you wanna see, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll put it on my list to do. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Peace